Hello and welcome again to one of my little stupid tutorials. Basically, uh, just outlining how to use a Wacom tablet in Tools 3, shortcuts, and a couple of little tricks that I know here and there. I won't get into painting as of now because I have an ulnar nerve injury and uh, sometimes it can be painful to try to draw for long periods of time and even more so without my wrist brace and even when I use my wrist brace it's a lot more awkward to try to draw and I have to really adjust the way I draw. Okay for this one I wanted to show that you can also program your Intuos 3 tablet for various settings as you can see again I have a lot of programs in Painter 10 you can see the old Painter workspace and here and I have a lot of palettes up because Oftentimes I'm making on the fly brush adjustments and I don't like going into the brush creator all the time. So in Painter 11, however, you'll notice that there's this really awesomely huge color wheel now. You can resize it and the mixer tablet is a lot bigger and resizable. Also they allowed you to have a background color so it's easier to see what the heck you're mixing. A lot of this is better explained probably on Corel's website. Anyway. On my Intuos tablet, as you can see for Painter, I use the two keys here uh, for the, the switches on the uh, stylus. I use the Alt key, which of course is the color picker. And in Painter 11, this is I haven't really changed my, my thing here. And Control Alt is a really nice on the fly brush size adjuster. Like for example, if I click that back switch, it turns into crosshairs. And as I drag it out, you can see what kind of brush size I want. And there I go. And if I want it a little bit smaller, crosshairs again. There I go. But if you want something more precise, excuse me, you can use the um, express keys. And if you go over to functions, it'll bring up this menu. Again, I'm left-handed, so I'm always going to run to the right-hand side. Most of the time, I try to disable this. And I have to go over to Painter because if you don't, if you notice, it kind of defaults over here. So, scrolling over to Painter 11, you'll see that I have my key set up. This one is Redo, and if you go into Keystroke, you can see what keys I did. Control Y, and then, by the way, you can clear this. If you make a mistake and you're trying to do it again or you're trying to add, it'll keep adding to it. So just clear it out first and then control Y that's my redo hit OK I put the name there because I always forget what my shortcut is for and also one of the other two here is the brush increase which are the brackets these also work the same in Photoshop so I have these two as my more precise brush increase and decrease and I also have undo on the tablet there's also the touch strip and you can actually use the touch strip too to decrease and increase your brush size. I generally don't because I actually still use it for zooming because I just don't want to touch a mouse while I'm trying to zoom around. And as you can see here, if I use my express keys, and you can hear it clicking, it increases the brush size and then I can also decrease it. And it'll go all the way down to one if I hold it down. But sometimes I just like doing this instead because it's just a little bit quicker. Now if you noticed in Painter when I made it really huge it all of a sudden just started slowing down like crazy. That's because it's a spacing issue and you can always change the spacing to a larger percentage and cover more areas but it's it'll speed it up but because of the dab type you'll start noticing more circles and so forth. So it just depends on your kind of brush in order to get this to work right. A lot of times it's just easier to do a large fill on something so high. And as you can see here, if you drop down the menu, you can always add an application or whatever. And a lot of people get annoyed when they accidentally move their arm on what side they're drawing with. So disable the uh, other side, it should help you out a lot. And you can see that I also have my Intuos 4 also programmed for various ones. Now, 
one other thing I'd like to explain is that you can do a default setting where about every other program that you know uses the same keys you can always tell it to use alt instead or whatever key that you like to use the most also if you are like me in you know, southpaw I have to often change the rotation of my tablet right now it's on the the smaller one because there's only key keys on one side which you'll see here I have to reverse my tablet in order to make it more efficient so you go to the pen and you can change it also if you have a wide screen you need to also uh, change it to force proportions or your your strokes are going to look crappy and they don't really work right uh, also, I'd like to mention that I will probably be putting up my little Intuos 4x6 for sale, so if you want to contact me, please do. I wouldn't, could probably throw in some old books for drawing that I no longer use if you're interested. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this one. It's really not like the most complex tutorial in the world, but I hope it helps somebody out, especially when you're kind of clueless and you know somebody tells you something you don't get it maybe a video watching it will explain it better thank you again and maybe